Sup guys, day 16, so just over halfway now and not much has changed to be honest. I have, I'm weighing 198.6 pounds today. So it's gone up a little bit. And the reason is because of sodium. So that damn thing. Now, and I've been getting this a lot of, you know, a lot of questions around kind of weight gain from people and they are apparently eating in a deficit but for some reason their weight has crept up and it's not come down sooner than they'd like and this is what's happened with me now on the weekend so the, the challenging time for me um, I had some popcorn and it was salted popcorn and I also had some beef jerky and if any of you guys know cured meats, they usually have higher salt content, which is usually to preserve it. And obviously salted popcorn, it tastes good. And so, so my body consumed a lot higher salt than I've, I've been having for the past couple of weeks. Because I've been I'm having like fresh food, um, eating my YOLO meals, you know, the salt content is manageable. But with these kind of processed foods or popcorn or beef jerky, you usually get a lot more salt. And salt in the short term can cause water retention, which can cause a temporary gain in weight on the scales. So I woke up yesterday, day 15, at 200 pounds. So I apparently gained three pounds in one day. I did track my calories, I ate within my caloric needs, I was still in that deficit, but my weight still went up. And this is something I really wanna pay close attention to because this is when people start to slip away from their diet three, three weeks into the new year and you know the social events start kicking off. And you are gonna have to go out to eat and you are gonna have to socialize. And you're gonna find yourself in situations where you're eating foods that aren't on your typical regime and that aren't prepared by you. And so I want you to be, pay very close attention to the salt content of the food you're having. Because if you're eating out in a restaurant, it's always gonna have a higher salt content than food that you prepare yourself. And definitely, definitely expect to see a gain in the number you see on the scale. So an increase from wherever you are now, give or take two to three pounds, um, if you've eaten out at a restaurant or if you've had foods that aren't prepared by you. And that's exactly what I've experienced. I don't look any worse for it. My conditioning is still there, but naturally my body is retaining water because of the salt and it's gonna take a couple of days for it to drop off. So today I'm like two pounds down and I anticipate, you know, with sticking to kind of my whole food diet, it will naturally come down. But what that's going to do is going to give me a bit of a strange um, average over the week because it's going to look like I was really heavy and then I was really light. And so you've got to consider these things if you're looking at your weight day to day and consider salt as a big factor in affecting your daily weight records. Otherwise, on the whole, things are looking good. I'm happy with how I was looking. I posted up a progress picture of my back yesterday from week from day one to day 15. And I'm really happy with how the conditioning is coming through. I'm happy that my sides are finally reducing down. I really don't like when I start to get body fat around my back. And so it feels good to kind of be back to where I felt good. And um, just pushing on this week, you know, still hitting five weight training sessions. Now going to be doing three hit weight, hit, three hit sessions, and two low intensity cardio sessions, and just you know create that slightly bigger deficit. I'm eating around two and a half thousand calories as of yesterday for this week, and you know no doubt that will come down a little bit more next week as well. That is it. No magic here. No. Um, secret sauce just doing what I'm doing and vlogging it for you guys who might be trying to strip a few pounds off and see some abs stay tuned for more um, in the next vlog coming soon what's up guys day 19 on my 30 day lean with Lee and I haven't checked in with you guys for a few days or had any time for vlogging but I'm here to update you and let you know what is going down 
with the six pack. So at the moment, my weight has been kind of on a gradual descend this week. It went right back up to like 200 pounds because I had some like popcorn and slightly salted foods over the weekend. And then it's only really now come back to what it was last week. However, the pictures and um, visually is saying a completely different story. Now, although my weight is only just getting back to the way I'm seeing on the scales last week, I actually look a lot leaner and I'm a lot tighter. And I know for a fact that I am. Um, it's quite funny because sometimes you get on the scales and you you like you feel really light. You know, you get on in the morning, you're like, yeah, definitely, I'm going to see a new number today. Um, but all that happened was my weight was actually the same and. I didn't want to look at it and be disheartened by it because I know that visually I'm seeing the changes I want to see. And so you know, I just continued to um, follow my diet plan, follow my training and just trust that in the process of doing what I'm doing, the body fat is going to come down. And I know for a fact, I posted up a picture today on Instagram and you can see that my body is taking shape and there are some new lines coming back and I feel really good. My strength is up and everything is just going really well. And I want to quickly mention something about this 30 day lean with Lee. Now I did originally say, you know, I want to see how much body fat I can lose in 30 days. Um, but realistically, you know, I knew that it was going to be a limited number on that. I knew that was, there was going to be a point that I can only lose so much without doing it unhealthily and losing muscle mass. So I have taken a healthy approach to this and, you know, I'm not going to lose 30 pounds in 30 days. It's no, it's going to be a healthy range because I know I'm stripping body fat, retaining my muscle and keeping strength. Because ultimately I want to feel good by the 30 day mark so I can decide what I want to do next, depending on what I've got planned for this year. So that's just an update, not to let you guys down, but you know, it isn't going to be a dramatic fat body, fat loss transformation. You know, I am going to just look considerably better. I'm going to feel healthier. And then I've got a few other things, exciting things planned later this year, which I will vlog and update you there, 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 but update you guys as well. Thank you for tuning into these vlog series. I hope you enjoy them. Um, said we've got only what 11 days left i think of the january and that will take me up to the 31st which is when this challenge thing ends um i won't be here next week though i am going away going on a jet plane to new york so that's really exciting for me um i'll give you guys more details about it in another vlog and I'll document the trip there, of course. Thank you for watching. I hope you've stayed in touch with all my social media this week because that is where I stay connected with you, post pictures up, workouts, videos, and all the rest of it. Thank you for tuning into this episode. I'll see you after the weekend.